I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a question on linear equations. The question is, the sum of three consecutive integers is 54. Find the numbers. Now, what are consecutive integers? This is a term which is not very clear. Consecutive integers are integers which come one after the other. For example, we have numbers 2, 3, 4. Right? So these are consecutive. These are examples of consecutive integers. So, or we could write uh, 13, 14, 15. Right? These are three consecutive integers. So, the numbers which come one after the other. If we are writing equations, then we have to define some variable. Right? So, so if I write, for example, x for the first number, then the other number will be x plus 1 and the next number will be x plus 2. So one more each time. Is that okay? So or you could say difference between the number is only 1. So then in that case the three numbers are consecutive numbers as we have given here. Some of you could also write uh, like this x the middle number and difference minus 1 and add 1. Do you see that? that could also be a case. So both are the right ways of defining. We'll try to solve this question using these two terms. So in the first case, uh, we will we'll do it on the right side. Okay, here. We'll define the variable x and the let, we say let three numbers be x, x plus 1, x plus 2. So these are our three numbers. They are consecutive since they increase by 1 each time. Do you see that? Okay, that is what consecutive integers mean. And we are given sum of the 3 is 54. So if I add these 3, that is to say x plus, the other one is x plus 1 plus x plus 2, I should get 54. Is that okay? So now we have a linear equation with x as my unknown. I need to just find x. Let's add it up. There are three x's here. So we have 3x plus 2 plus 1 is 3. That is 54. Let us solve for x. So we'll take away 3 from both sides. So we have 3x equals to 54 minus 3. Is that okay? So 54 minus 3 is 51. And x will be equal to 51 divided by 3 correct 51 divided by 3 so that is 3 goes one time 21 is 7 so we get x as 17 now if x is 17 what are the three numbers we can write them down as 17 the next number is 17 plus 1 which is 18 and then it is 18 plus 1 or 17 plus 2 which is 19 so that is the solution for us now if we define like this, right, so we're talking about method 2. So these are our variables now. Let's do it. So we are given sum of consecutive numbers. We could do x minus 1. I mean, sorry, I wrote x plus 1. So we write x minus 1 plus x and plus x plus 1. That should give me 54, correct? So this time what do we have? We have three x's as before. But see what happens to the numbers. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Do you see that? So we straight away get 3x equals to uh, 54. Correct? Now, what is x equals to? x is 54 divided by 3. And this time when you divide 54 by 3, 3 goes 1 times. So you get 24, which is 16, right? Oh, which is 8. So 3 times 8 is 24. So we get x as 18. Now if we, x is 18, what are my three numbers? Okay, let me write down here. My numbers were to start with x is 18. Is it okay? So the number on the right side is 1 more than 18, which is 19. And on the left side is 1 less than 18, which is 17. Do you see that? So I still get the same set of numbers. 17, 18, 19. The only difference is, in the first case, I defined my variable as the first number, 
and then added one each time to get the consecutive numbers and in the second case I defined my number as a center number and then took away one and added one getting my three numbers so the idea is this is sometimes helpful in calculations you can see lesser number of steps otherwise both are correct methods leading to same answer which is 17 18 and 19 are the three consecutive integers whose sum is 54 i hope that helps you to understand the concept i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best